Hello guys, how are you? Hope you guys are fine. This is the third part of my series tutorial called Learning Process version 4. If you already have seen part 1 and part 2, it's okay. But if you don't, please check first part 1 and then second. Now it's third. The first thing is when I think about to do something, I try to draw something in my notebook after that i am planning to arrange the element this is my base element i started to create my base element on illustrator first thing i started with the illustrator then i came here in 3d software then after finishing the 3d things the scene build lighting rendering materials and everything i came here in after effects here in after effects let me tell you the composition process what's the process actually the composition process is for me it's very simple if you want to composite anything in after effects what do you need this is my main base if I go to the main composition see this is my main base this is the image I took from cinema 4b and then I added all the elements here in After Effects. For this thing, I took separate passes for my text and the ground. I mean the outer area of the text. By using any kind of object buffer, you are able to separate your individual element from the main scene let's say this is my main scene this one now i want to separate this text alone from the ground so object buffer will give you the facilities to take it separate from your main scene see what i did here this is my main file main scene this is my main scene and this is the object buffer if i turn off all the other layers see And there is another object buffer object buffer one is my text object buffer two is my outer circle of the text so see each layer is individual now this is my text is individual the ground the outer circle of text also individual and finally this is the main c look at my texture and the element here this text this area 
this surface techno is behind the text my text is in the upper part and the ground the techno element is the ground bottom part on the text but if you are not using object buffer you are not able to make the separation from the main scene so this is very simple things you should understand about the composition finally with the object buffer another very important thing is to take your camera that you are using in 3d software also the same camera in after effects so for this thing you need to use extra plugins to take the camera from cinema 4d to after effects see this is my camera look what happened now if i turn off my camera that i am using in cinema 4d all the elements and the things going wrong this is why you need to take the main camera from your cinema 4d into the after effects and the rest of the things it's normal it's usual i am using the map takes i added many things so it's up to you what kind of stuff you want to add on your composition but the process is same i want to repeat again for any kind of composition you have to take care about the object buffer because in after effects if you are not able to make your scene each one separate you are not able to compose it in after effects properly let's say i did not bring this object buffer i'm not able to put any kind of texture behind my text you have to understand the process first then try to make something like i did here since long time i am not making any tutorial and i am not someone who can teach you anything the reason is i am sharing with you guys my work by sharing my work i teach myself to get better every single day thank you so much for watching my video and keep in touch with learning process love you all